Hey everyone, my name is Daniel Hyun Kim and I'm a recent graduate of the ABC's uh, boot camp and also the long term training. So I'm not gonna lie guys, when I first heard about JT, it was from another uh, Pickup Asia in uh, Korea and he told me that if he recommends someone, it will be JT Tran to take a bootcamp in America because I was coming from Korea and I had to transition my Asian game to Western game. So I'm not gonna lie, I watched a lot of RC videos, other programs, I read a lot of other books and when someone mentioned JT, of course like you guys, I did my research and initially I kind of thought it was a scam. <laughs> Is it true that Asian guys have to do things differently from other white guys because that's not what RSD or the other programs were teaching? Is it true that, you know, that as an Asian man, I'm going to have it harder in the Western world? I mean, I experienced it, but my thing was there's more infield videos for RSD and I did check out JT's website uh, and YouTube channel and, you know, there are some infields, but not as much as RSD did. So I was questioning it. I checked even the Yelp reviews and I even asked, um, you know, around for fellow students or fellow alumni that I saw to see if that JT was the real deal. Um, one of my friends also, also took the boot camp and he said it was a success. So, you know, I had very positive things, but I still had my own doubts, right? I had to research and on YouTube, I felt like there was not enough infield videos, unquote. Um, but however, I personally took the leap of faith um, JT and me talked about it. I kind of thought it was a little too expensive too. Is it worth the money? And all these doubts are coming around the exact same doubts that you have. But then I took it. And I took the boot camp first, the LA boot camp, Friday to Sunday. And guess what? I had my first romantic encounter, encounter on the first night of boot camp um, in downtown LA. And then on Sunday, I mean, here's the thing, I already booked the long-term training while I took the boot camp, so I already invested in that, and as soon as I was done with the three-day, I was ready to roll again. So each week, I met, I met with each great teacher. You got the day game master, Ozzy. You got the social game, uh, Sebastian, and Jeff Kahn, the infield, Greg Hose, and then JT himself. So one thing I realized is they always kept me accountable. Sometimes I wouldn't mess it in, but they'll try to schedule with me and be like, hey, come out this weekend. So guess what happened? I got my first day game romantic encounter, had an amazing date from since the morning till then, had a huge connection and we, you know, had a great time together and Ozzy, the day game master, supported me in that and I was able to get my first day game romantic encounter. And then each week, each week I always had a date, I actually had multiple dates and I had one account, romantic encounter each week. I also created a social circle where I have an abundance of women, attractive women friends, and also I was able to go, like I said before, have romantic dates each week. So you could say in a way, instead of always saying I was abundant and putting that frame and just not actually having the results, I was actually able to have an abundance of results and just, you know, have the life that I truly always wanted to be abundance not only women, but also my confidence. Um, one of the biggest thing is I also learned about advanced inner game um, and one of the best workshops I took was during Vegas also Vegas immersion and just the inner game it's the way of being and the Vegas immersion was a short like compiled of all the 12 weeks I went through and even in Vegas I had a romantic encounter with one of the most beautiful uh, Cuban woman, a woman that I ever ever met. Um, she's beautiful. She was attractive. She's working to be a nurse. Uh, just we had a great connection, and it was actually through a day game. She came out, uh, learned how to do table table game, and most of all, I had fun. Because game is supposed to be fun. To attract women is to be fun. Just to be the man you always wanted to be. And I'm telling you guys right now, all my doubts of is it a scam? Do Asian men or do Asian men have the game a little differently? Do I even have do white women actually like Asian men? Do we actually consider, you know, alpha males? Um, how to dress, you know, how to have improv, how to be funny, how to be an attractive male overall. But I always thought being Asian in America was going to hold me back, but JT helped me defeat all my living beliefs, especially my bullshit stories that I was told, and I'm living the greatest life I can in abundance in everything. So I'm truly grateful, and whatever doubts you have, I'm a living example of all the doubts getting crushed when after I took the boot camp, the long-term training, and Vegas immersion, and also going to Europe immersion. So excited for destroying even those limiting beliefs of how all kinds of non-Asian women love Asian men. So I'm super excited. So the reason why advanced inner game was so important to me is because you could tell, you could see, right now, you know, I look tall and I look like this a certain way, like I'm in shape, but I actually be very overweight. So imagine the double whammy. I only didn't get, I got bullied for being Asian, 
but I also got bullied for being fat and overweight. So when I actually lost the weight and I felt like I had some kind of traction level and people were saying compliments, I still didn't believe it. I didn't know my own worth. I didn't know this. And as soon as I started taking this advanced Skinner game, how to go through my bullshit stories, all the things that JT taught me, I also realized that I am worth it. I'm, a, I'm not just an Asian man who's worth it, I'm just a man who's worth it. I'm a man who has value to give to everyone, not only women, but also men too. So that's what advanced inner game to me, that not only realize that I'm not an ugly duckling anymore, that I'm a fucking swan, as weird as that sounds. I'm a swan and I get to own my own worth. So I would definitely recommend the boot camp, but if you want to take it to the next level, do the long-term training. The long-term training is what's going to keep you from the average and bring you all the way up to the uh, to the top notch, the top 1%. You don't want to settle. And who do I recommend it? It's for you. Whoever's watching and has these doubts and you realize something's missing in your life, you're probably at your computer and you're like, something's missing. Something's in missing in my life and I want to change, I want to improve, I want to live the life that I always dreamed of. That This is for you. JT ABCs of Attraction has truly improved and changed my life. It was the best investment I ever made and I believe it's truly priceless. Um, guys, I'm telling you right now, believe in yourself but also believe in the ABCs of Attraction. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.